Hello and welcome. You are tuning into Willie's Fast Food Reviews. I am at Sushi Ninja in the Centre City Mall in New Plymouth. This is review number two. Sushi Ninja is in the mall is Taranaki's only sushi train. The sushi train is where sushi is on a track and it goes around and you wait for your food to come to you on the track. And then you select something once you receive it. Sushi Ninja is located on the second floor, which is away from the food court. The location of Sushi Ninja isn't the greatest, in my opinion. It's, although it's not very busy at the moment, it's only 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Um, it's not a very busy location in the morning in general. The main food court in Centre City is downstairs and they have you know McDonald's, I've got a, a kebab joint, a Mexican joint and another sushi place but this Sushi Ninja is located in a, in a different area which I'm sure many residents of Plymouth or people who may have only come here once or twice may not even know exists. However, I'm here, I've never been to a sushi train before. I, uh, I was told to sit down and wait for my food to arrive and yeah that's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting. I, I am the first person, I think, here. I'm the only person sitting down at the moment. So they, when I first came here, they didn't really have anything anything started. The, the train wasn't even operating. I went to the guy and he he, uh, he got the train started for me. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for something good to come along. I want to start this review on a, on a positive note. I want to get some chicken. So they have a bit of a price range, I'll show you the price structure here. I'm gonna get two greens and and a blue. So I'm just trying to wait for something to come along. Uh, one thing that's a little bit annoying is the wasabi and the ginger are on the... Wasabi and the ginger come around on the train, they're not actually on the, on the tables. The chopsticks and the soy sauce is on the table, however. All right, I see a bit of chicken coming, so I'm going to go and grab it, and it's gonna be our first meal. I'm gonna grab three pieces today. Oh, one from the green and one from the blue. Let's grab. All right, it arrives like this. Comes in a, a covering container, which has a little hole at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of, I tipped over, but it, it shouldn't have really tipped over. Well, if I place it upright again, it fell apart. But this piece, it was served like, like that. Obviously I messed up the top, because I had to pick it on, put the um, chicken nugget on top. Look at there's a chicken nugget on top. And, uh, a normal bit of sushi. I'm not a big fan of sushi, but I'll, um, I'll just get it ready. I'll have to get some soy sauce and wasabi and ginger on it. Sushi trains. You see them in movies quite often, but they're not that common. It's the only reason. The reason that um, there's only one in Taranaki, but. I suppose it's in this location because you need a lot of room to operate it. It was initially designed to alleviate Japanese uh, sushi bars from having to have waiters and waitresses going out to serve food. But, it's not going to make Alright, stick into the first piece of sushi. I'm pretty starving, I've built up my appetite for the day. Alright, first piece, let's dig in. So that was the the actual sushi bit. 
with the seaweed and the rice and, and the middle. It was pretty good, I have to say. Pretty good. Here's the second bit. The, the chicken nugget. Mm. It tastes pretty good. I love chicken. This review started off on a positive note. got some type of sauce on top, I don't know what it is, but it kind of tastes like mayonnaise, it tastes good, but uh, mayonnaise uh, based sauces and chicken go really well. Mm. It's a pretty good piece of sushi, I uh, Definitely rate that really highly. Oh, so after I'm finished with the, um, the plate, I guess I just put it to the side. Alright, we'll, um, we'll try something else. We'll try something from the, the cheap range, the, the blue, which is $2.80. It all looks very basic. And they all look actually the same. Here we go. So it's got a, you can't really see it, there's seaweed in the middle wrapping around the, the chicken and rice on the outside. Pretty good. I'm trying to look out for some uh, surimi, which people call crab meat, but the thing is, is I, I learned a long time ago, it's not actually crab meat. I, didn't, I don't even know what it's made out of, it's, if it's even fish at all. Alright, I'll uh, put the condiments on. Because it's not sushi unless you've got soy sauce, wasabi, and ginger. They come in these little packets, it's a little bit hard to get out of. Sorry for the delay. Yeah. I've run out of wasabi, but the problem with the train is that the wasabi is just out of reach so I've got to wait for one to come around again. Alright, here we go. Let's dig into whatever this is. It looks a bit dry. It looks like chicken. Tastes alright, not as good as the first one. So the price of this one is $2.80. So it's like $1.40, forty, dollar forty per per bit of sushi, which is pretty good prices actually. That's pretty good, but um, the first one was definitely a lot better. I guess you, you pay for it. Now I was going to pick another green one, but the guy just put on a purple one, and I'm pretty hungry. And I suppose it's only fair that I try the uh, mid range. So, like I said, they, I'll just show you the price of it again. Blue's the, the cheapest from the lower range. Then green, I already have one of them. So purple was the the next one along, which costs four dollars. I'll just get these prices down properly. My notepad. The problem is that I have to wait for it to come around, which is going to take some time potentially. I guess that's kind of the novelty when you come here with your your friends and you just you just wait and you talk. But um, I do, I do these reviews by myself. I think it would be a bit rude to inviting someone along to watch me do a review. They'll probably distract me. So I, I guess I'll just have to wait. Shouldn't be too long. You can see a lot of blue, a lot of green. Already have one of them. While we're waiting, I'll uh, 
I talked a little bit more about the five star system, the, the five star rating that I give out. Now last week I had a, a different, let's get it out. I talked, there was taste, value for money, accuracy of order, dining and environment, and overall, I've decided to change that. Uh, first I'll be talking about the dining environment, then the convenience, so this will undertake how easy it is to get, and also the cost, well not really the cost, waiting time, elements. Next is the cost, the value of the meal, was what I got, was a meal I got, what it tasted like, worth what I paid for it. Lastly, we will cover the taste of the meal which is um, a couple of things, like if it's cooked or undercooked, and then, and then I'll give an overall. So I'm still waiting for a curved one, certainly put one on. I can't see any coming around. Maybe I, maybe I just imagined it. I could just pick something else, I'll just have a quick. So I, I thought I saw a purple, but I, I can't say I did. I'll just get something from the... I got another green one. Looks pretty good. I don't know what this... Um, red stuff is at the top. Looks like... Fishies, I think. It's a fishing gear. I've tasted that, that red stuff. I don't know what it is. I've tasted it before. It tastes like citrus. You know what it is? Let me know in the comments below because I'm not too knowledgeable on what ingredients are. I'll learn. Fortunately, I've run out of wasabi and ginger. No, I don't want to wait, so I'm going to try it without. Here we go. I don't know what that is on the top. It looks like it looks like a, sh a corn or a shrimp or something. seen it in other sushi places. Now the, the sushi kind of broke up on me. Sushi's a kind of a difficult thing to eat. Yeah. Alright, how was that? Let's get this um, fire side ready and go, eh? prices down first. So I ordered two green and one blue and all together that cost me $9.80. So it's not too bad. I feel I was definitely hungry before that. I definitely could probably eat another one but this video has gone on for almost 15 minutes so I, I won't bore you with another item from the sushi chain. This other uh, parts are already. Dining environment. The atmosphere is alright. It's gotten a lot busier. It's almost Christmas, remember, so the mall sometimes um, it's quite busy, but it's only 10 o'clock on a Saturday. So it's not too busy. It's probably nice here not being, you'd be away from the food court, but it's not too busy if you like that. You see people walking around, it's um, you know, not too 
not that bad. I will give it, it a... Considering the location, I would give it a, a 7. Yeah, a 7. The, the, the table was clean as well, so it's not too bad. Convenience. Well, when I got here, I had to wait for a bit, wait for it to start. Having to wait for food, if you're in a rush, could be a bit uh, tricky if you want something good. Condiments, they're all on the table except for the wasabi and the ginger. You have to wait for that. So that's a little bit irritating. I'll also give that a 7. Value of the meal? It's pretty good. You know, the price of sushi can be quite quite extravagant per piece, but a dollar a dollar thirty per piece for the the, the cheap meal and then three dollars fifty for the other for the green meal was quite a bit more. I'll just um the camera, there's one of the quick ones that we'll buy. Looks pretty good but I don't know, maybe another time. I'll review that. So value of the meal oh, maybe seven as well. Nothing no it's nothing too cheap. But I know there's a sushi place in town that does do sushi for one dollar each. I guess the taste and the quality might be on the on the lower side, but the value is definitely there. Taste? It was mixed, the first piece was really good. I really enjoyed that. After that, the second piece was alright. And the third piece it definitely wasn't worth $3.50 I paid for it. I didn't enjoy it that much. It definitely got a part of me as well, which wasn't good. Everything was cooked alright, I believe. So I would give that a 6 out of 10. So overall I would give them a five and a half. It was a good job. Uh, it could be a bit better with regards to where the location is. It could be, I guess if it's really busy and there's lots of things going around, it probably would be a bit more convenient. Uh, value, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, sushi's not a cheap item, it's definitely a, it's difficult to make. Yeah, cool. So, Thank you for tuning in. If you've got any comments and suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, tune in next week where I'll be doing another place completely at random. Thank you.